They can also protect themselves from your immune system's mechanisms of, let's say, a fever. A fever is a way of actually burning this out of your body. And it does. A fever will kill many different types of things because there's certain different things that can't live a certain temperature. Okay? Um, but when the biofilms form, they're a way of basically putting themselves in and shutting themselves out. Okay, but if they do that and they're locked away from ever, then they can't get out. Well, here's what they do is they can melt these shells from the inside out and get out. Now, when do they get out? They get out because what they do is they communicate with each other. So let's say you have an infection that's starting over here and your immune system is attacking it and your immune system is winning. What happens is, is they form these biofilms and they go into the biofilms and they hide. And then they basically stop fighting and a bunch of them die. And they know this, they know when they're dying. And so what happens is, is basically when they're losing, they will go in and hide, okay? Then when the coast is clear, and this can happen in different parts of the body. So one part of the body infection, your body's taking care of it, but the other part of the body is left unchecked. And what happens is, is they'll communicate through your body and they'll send a signal and say, it's all safe here. And what happened, and that's why you'll see infections can go through an infection and then it goes away and then it comes back and then it goes away and then it comes back.